Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Karas Code. So last time we escaped Vermilion Wasteland, but the problem was that we were still showing it online and now Emily is upset at us because she doesn't know where we were and we have no way of telling her where we were and couldn't tell her if we wanted to anyway. So instead we're hanging out with uh, Mr. Grasshead here and his uh, bulky friend over here, um, Jorn, who after some conversation with them are apparently cohabiting. Um, what was that? Well, whatever. Um, as long as it doesn't keep happening, I suppose, it's fine. Um, anyway, as I was trying to say, uh, game-wise, we kind of ran into an issue when trying to access the Grand Criscayo because of the fact that the Shad don't really like the humans right now, so now we have to go see the mayor. Well, that just happened. Her again. That was rude. You have to... <clears throat> you have to listen to me, Mayor Sullivan. You again? If you want to speak to me, please make an appointment. This is an emergency. Things are about to escalate. I'm so sorry, sir. She just burst in. It's okay, Penny. This seems important. You can go. Yes, sir. Alright, so what is it? The village of Verda is, cu is currently under attack by dangerous creatures. We've already lost the, the entire north of the village. I'm very sad to hear that, but how does this concern us in any way? You see, the Shad are blaming the power plant. Well, of course they always do, and I always tell them the same thing. The power plant is fine. We make sure it's in perfect harmony with your oh-so-holy track. Please listen. Things are not the same. We are desperate. The Shad now started a protest in front of the Grand Criscayo as we speak. They want to stop the power plant and are ready to use force. What? Your Shad want to use force? With sticks and stones? Don't make me laugh. I know you hold little respect for us, but I beseech you, don't let this end in a bloodbath. What choice do I have? You know as well as I do that we depend on that power plant. We, sim we can't simply turn it off. I'm very much aware. What you can do is help us free the village from those creatures. If you do, things might calm down again. A few of your guards should suffice. You wild people come around with your petty problems I'm supposed to spare some guards for you? Speaking of annoyances, what's that sneaker doing back there? Right? No, I didn't even see you there. Well, isn't this perfect? If you deal, if, if you need somebody to deal with your creatures, I'm sure a seeker like this will do the job. Well, thanks, I guess. If you want access to the temple to the north, it's in your interest to resolve this dispute quickly, right? Please, uh, please, seeker, we're in dire need of any help. Alright, well, not like we have a choice, I guess. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Great, that settles it. The Seeker can do her thing and everybody will be happy. Yeah, sure. I now see you hold little respect for Seekers as well. My job here is to run a city in the middle of a dense jungle. I don't have time for wild people and adventurers. You two, uh, you two do what you must to solve your problems. And make sure you free the, the passage to the power plant soon or I will become another problem for you. Now, if you'd please excuse me. Meet me outside, Seeker. I'll tell you everything I know. But enough of his arrogance. Yeah, not exactly the most agreeable thing. Such arrogance! This mirror encapsulates himself in his own world, blocking out all, all outside issues. 
Indeed, very much like his Iron Wall, Iron Walled City. Um, and yes, we are hanging out with um, Apollo and Jorn, uh, mostly because um, Emily is angry at us right now. So, Seeker, over here. Thank you for helping us. The tension between human and Chad around here is as bad as it gets. It really doesn't help that the mirror is acting so selfishly. Where are my manners? I'm Katara. Leah, hi! I was born in Vertaville, a small village in the, in the southeast of Gaia's Garden. My I spend a large amount of time with humans. Anyway, let's not dwell for too long. The village is in danger. You see, our village was, was attacked by strange black cats. They've already pushed us out of the north side. It's because of this power plant. It is disrupting the ancient track and it's punishing us for it. My people are not happy. They are ready to fight and I fear the worst if we don't do something. I'm sure if we can drive these beasts away, the shy will calm down, but we have to act fast. Let's first meet in Vertaville. There's a landmark in the eastern part of the village. Well, you, you already unlocked it. Let's not waste time then. That was some clever use of sign language, Leo. And the NPC even recognize it. I'm impressed. Uh, let's see. I mean, the plans isn't good and all that. Hopefully not where this is going more, yeah. Exactly, Tyrion. Anyway, like we said, we already have this, so let's just go directly there. You've come. Quick, follow me. been here? I'm not sure. Well, again. Hey. This is the northern part of the village. As you can see, the beasts have already come this far. There are the black cats. These are the black cats that have taken over our village. We call them white cats. But these are only a few. The real, thir the real threat is further ahead in the chief's den. However, there is no way the other shadow will let you through. The villagers are dead set on shutting down the power plant. They will deny it at any other kind of outside help. Yes, I know it's cumbersome. It's the same, the same kind of stubbornness I know from a certain someone. <laughs> anyway, that means we have to help them in a sneaky way. And I have a plan. You see that house over there? That is my home. It's now overrun by those creatures, but it has a valuable treasure. And that lets us sneak our way around the guards. All we need to do is get it. That's where you come in. You need to go into my house and grab my old stone key. You think you can do that? Great. I'll leave it up to you that if you want to get rid of the cats or not. The more are gone, the happier everyone will be, I imagine. But they are very aggressive, so be careful. Okay, let's open these ropes so you can jump down from here. See, there is no other way in. Alright, that did the trick. That, that did the trick. Once you've got the key, let's meet again at the Bird of Veal landmark. Good luck, and may the Kreskaya be with you. So, we only have to get the key. We don't have to fight those kittens, right? We don't have to. Still, those Wiccats are a, through, a, true, tr a th true threat to these villagers. Oh, they're so cute, though. Well, they're aggroing, so... I'm just gonna keep kind of throwing it into the water. There we go. 
They might be cute, but uh, yeah, they're definitely more aggressive than uh, the other kind of cats that we've seen. Those kind there. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what see what we can see first. As y'all know me, I like to. Ah, you see. I like to explore, and sometimes exploration results in prizes. In this case, some precious metal. Which will be good for trade. Oh geez, hi. And I accidentally left, which means it's back to full health. Let's get that key. And from here, we can just go directly back to the thing. Still have to kill another Behisloth, too. Not looking forward to that. No, oh, back already? I saw you getting rid of the Wiccats from here. Thanks for that. Did you find the key? Here it is. Good. And it looks as sturdy as ever. Now we can sneak past the, the guards, but we have to take a little detour first. The hidden path we need to use is outside the village. Following the right path to Grand Crescayoch at Clinging River, there's a small tree. Meet me there. Clinging River, you say? Uh, where is that? Here it is. We're pretty much just gonna have to walk there. So, howdy girl, hi, I see y'all just hit the 50% mark, nice work, I got a little something for y'all, uh, y'all come uh, come find me at the Bakikun Quest Hub, oh, we'll go there soon, probably, but uh, yeah, unfortunately Jolmar, it is not a hookshot. Ah, here is the village. Indeed, far off from Basin Keep, this tribe is not on friendly terms with humankind. Why are you just saying this now? We just ran through the entire village. That seems like an oversight. Okay, Clinging River is over here. I mean, there probably will be Jewel, or something of the sort. Ah, there she is. I mean, if they're gonna plaster this area with what looks like something that you would interact with, uh, with a hookshot, follow me, Seeker. We're finally here. Let's act quickly. If I remember correctly, the spot was somewhere around here. Oh. Eh! I forgot how suddenly it comes up. Back when I was young, me and the, young, me and the other younglings played here and found this. I believe it was an old escape route built by the founders of our village. The important part, we can now get to the chief's den. Up ahead are, are a lot of wickads, and also something which I believe must be their source. I don't know exactly where the source is, but my bed is one of the houses. The others told me it should be very hard to miss, as, as it looks pretty out of place. Some kind of glowing pole. They believe it's an extension from that cursed power plant. My hope is that by getting rid of the source, we can put an end, an end to this infestation. 
Eager, you must go in and find the source. I'm sure that by doing so, we can calm the Shad and bring an end to their attention. I'll wait here. Come back to me once you're done. Do we have to fight the Cadence again? It should suffice to get rid of the source, but we may, uh, we may not be able to avoid fighting some of the Wiccats this time. This game is cruel. Okay. So, how do we get here? Hmm. You have any information on how to get up there? Oh. Okay. I see. I thought we were on lower level than that. Is the thing. Oh. Well. Oh. Hi. a close one. I can't get the treasure because we're technically in combat. Okay. Oh, come on, you evaded that? here to refill our health. We took some pretty heavy hits there. Well, these guys have the same electrocution thing while they're uh, while they're broken as uh, their pink counterparts. Let's get our treasure. Golden bars. Not bad. More treasure. Grind pistachios. treasure we can get from here? Probably not. Hmm. Well, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the gold key anyway, so not like we could open it if we could even get there. Anyway, that central house is probably where we need to go. Provided I can make my way back over there. Hi! Ah! Okay. Fine. No way up there. Hmm. Conspicuous underground tunnels leading into ambushes. Cool. Oh, it's one of those bars. Is that the source of the wicked kittens? Indeed, summoning evil black cats on poor villagers, this can't stand!
Oh jeez. Sandwich. Okay. Uh, what else? Looks like those were the last of them. Justice has been served! Just what were those things? Indeed. Were they really an extension of the power plant? Very mysterious. Let's return to that Katargo for now. Okay, can't go that way anyway. Yeah, unfortunately these are not kitties that we can cuddle. You can cuddle the, the one in the lower right hand corner of your screen right now. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. <laughs> um, actually, I think it would have been better to go through this way. They're just going to ignore us going through the secret passage. You're back. Did you find the source of the infestation? You really did it? Where did you where did you find it? What was it? You see, it was below it was below the chief's house, and some strange pole that some of the white cats. <laughs> Apollo doesn't seem very pleased to be um, interrupted like that. But that really doesn't sound like something humans could do. This is a sacred place to my people. You better not tell them that, you, that you've been here. Well, all those wickets sure are gone suddenly. This is amazing. Let's quickly t let's quickly go to our eldress and tell her the news. If she sees the cats gone, I'm sure I'm certain the shed will calm down. She is resting in the western part of the village. There's a large tree in the middle of the lake. Come find me there. It looks like my input wasn't needed. His expression says it all. <laughs> it sure does. Oop, wrong button. Uh, yeah, thanks. And best village. Um, yes, let's... There's so many buttons in it. Never gonna get used to all of them. Vertiville West. So, here. Smuglia Bestlia. 100%. Like, she, she has... When she, like, her smug face is, like... If you're if you're that type of person, you would want to punch her in the face. But you just can't bring yourself to do it. Okay, so which house Excuse me, which house are we talking about here? I'm sure I'm just kind of dancing around right here. Not this one. Ah. What do you want, child? What is human doing here? Grandmother, I have good news. The Wicats are history. These seekers helped to get rid of the infestation that befell our village. Oh, this so? Indeed, it was quite this, so you work with humans against my will. <laughs> Grandmother, please. I just wish for peace between our races. 
I know, child, but defeating Wicats will n be no solution for long. As long as humans poison jungle, our struggle will continue. No, it is great for relief that our village has been freed. Eager. You helped Chad. For that we are thankful. I wish your kindness was more common for your kind. I will order Shad to free way to Sacred Temple. But let your people know. Should your poisoning continue and White Cat's return, there will be no more compromises. I will go to Old Home now. Katara, you will, you will come too. I need to talk. Thank you so much, Seeker. There's not much I can give you, but I have a few human, human credits. Hope we can meet again. For now, it seems I have a good scalding ahead of me. Alright. So now the path of Grand Criscaya was open. And with that, the quest was completed. Just as it's been served, for now. Will it be the last we hear of those black monsters? Only the future will tell. Yeah, that was fun. Like, like how you try to join those conversations, then they just ignored you. <laughs> well, yeah. I assume it's because Leah is our party leader, and NPC, the NPCs expect her to talk to, not answer in the first place. Anyway, we're now free to enter the temples in the north. But I think we played enough for today, Polly. Right, it was a good session. Thank you, and thanks for joining us, Lydia. And it seems you also lightened up a little. I'm happy to hear that. Maybe we can play some time again. Sure, it would be it would be much much easier to contact to uh, catch you for another duel that way. Bye. Please give the the girl some rest, Polly. All right, for now. Until then, Spare Answer Leah. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, Leah. Hi. I did not expect this turn of events, but it seems you got along quite well. Well then, should we call it a day as well? All right then. Good night, Leah. Biggest nerd away. Bye. Experiments or Leah, let's go. What hell? You're back again? It's good to see you. What are you doing? Leah, what is wrong with you? Why have you been away for so long? Just why can't you explain yourself properly? Leah, don't feel bad about it. The fact that you can't talk is part of who you are, and it does make you a bad person. To the contrary, it makes you special. As few can listen can, like you do. Good morning. Good morning, Leah. Hi. It must be a strange feeling waking up in the middle of the, the jungle like this. Any new memories? Let's see. Actually, I, I would like to ask, to ask you a few questions about your memories of Sapphire Ridge. What exactly was it that you saw? Do you think you saw Satoshi and Gotham somewhere in Sapphire Ridge? Yes, that sounds about right. Okay, here's my hypothesis about all this. Could it be that there exists some kind of hidden location somewhere in Sapphire Ridge? Hmm. Seems like that would make sense, actually. Huh. 
I figured that, assuming they were still working on Evo Tars, they would they need a place within the playground to properly test them. Now, there is Vermilion Wasteland, which seems to be used for that. But your memories indicate there might be a place like that at Sapphire, in Sapphire Ridge as well, correct? Hopefully we will find a way to access it. Oh, who's that? Um, hello there, Leah! Hi. I'm glad to see you're back again. You've been missed for quite some time. Yeah, aware of that. Did you by chance already do the first mandatory quest of Guy's Garden? Oh nice, that means you can enter the dungeon. Um, did you finish any of the dungeons already? Not yet. Me neither. I was in fact, um, planning to run one of them today. So, how about we meet up in front of the dungeons? Uh, sure, why not? Okie dokie. I'll be waiting at the Peridot Approach Landmark. See you soon. Oh, Citron is back, I see. Does he want to, to run a dungeon together with you? Uh, I wanted to extend your vocabulary, but I'm still not ready. Maybe if I hurry up, I can give you another one. Anyway, be better not keep Citron waiting for you. This happened in my original playthrough as well. I think this is the first time that like I got a level up after a long ass cutscene. I was like, really? It, it seems like they could have like broken up a cutscene somewhere and put the level up there instead. Because usually you don't finish a quest, log off, log back in, have uh, have a few conversations with people, and then level up. The cutscene took so long, you got experience for it, right? Um. So before we continue, I kind of need to go to the bathroom. So this is absolutely not a full break. I will be back in just a bit.
I just saw your joke, Tyrion. That's good. I love it. Leah, really a high speed dude. Um. Anyway, uh, sorry about that, but uh, here we are again. Cardo approach. So this one. Uh, does it does kind of suck that we don't really get to do this with um, with Emily, but. Uh, I mean, Toby seemed to be pretty down for a raise last time. Maybe uh, it's really a thing that we're doing with Emily, right? So I guess um, I guess we'll have to postpone our race of then. Hello, Leah. Hi. Good to see you again. Well, then the temple should just be to the north of here. But before we go there, let's just wait for a moment. Uh, what are you up to? Oh. Bonjour, Tony. Hello. So, was it just my imagination, or did I spot a, a certain horned girl? Come on, Leah, don't hide. Hi. Why is she here? Well, I invited both of you, see? I heard that things have been somewhat complicated between you two. Ever since the raid? Me? You could say that again? I'm still bummed that we had to cancel it. Then Nia has been gone for so long and now she's acting all strange. Yes, I've heard as much. It's just all inherently difficult, you know, since Leah can't talk and explain herself. But is there really a need to know exactly what happened? We, I mean, it would at least help. Bother. Let me just ask, well, let me just try and ask Leah a couple of questions, okay? Sure, give it your best shots. Okay, Leah, first of all, did you intentionally leave the raid? Was this something that you wanted to do? No, absolutely not. We are kind of, uh, Kidnapped, basically. Is this some kind of accident or something else outside of your control? Yeah, pretty much. And when we couldn't reach you for a week, was that intentional? Nope. So, in short, all these things all these things that happened are something that you uh, are not something that you want to happen. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. Well, you see? Then what about that whole thing with Lucas? What was that about? Emily, please, I'm sure that's even more difficult to answer. Instead, let me just ask the most important questions. Leah, over all this time, did you miss us? Yes, absolutely. Very much so. And now, do you want to play with us again? Yep. Oh. Yeah. See, isn't that all that matters? Yeah, I... I'm sorry. Yeah, Shelly. I missed you too. I... I was acting stupid. I'm so sorry. I... I don't know what came over me. I was just so angry. And you suddenly disappeared. I was angry, but I hope I also missed you. I I just wanted to know what, what, ha what happened. I was frustrated. But it's okay. I don't have to know everything. You always meant well. I should have known that. I there you go. I'm glad we worked this out. What? Hi. No. Good to have you back, Leah. Finally back together. Hi. And just in time for the dungeon race, no? That's right. We've all finished the mandatory quest, so we're good to go. 
Parfait, Ma? So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Alright, race is back on. Wait, did you just reconcile with Emily and Citron yet? Oh, that was quicker than I expected. Oh, it might be a bit late, but anyway. Here's the new work for you, finally. Yeah, that 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 would have been useful about two minutes ago. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I thought it might have helped. Sorry. Yes, I know it is too late now. Sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> My. Hey, Leah, let's go. Sorry. Oh, wait. Hey, I think that's the first time I've heard you say that. I mean, sorry. You're right. Uh, it's a little late to apologize now, mademoiselle. Sorry. Haha, <laughs> pas de problème. Come on, let's not waste time. Let's not waste any more time. I mean, Jewel, your feelings are absolutely valid, and I'm not gonna lie. Like, I knew this was going to happen, and there's still a tear in my eye. It probably helps that I've been, you know, voice acting this stuff, but uh, it's still a lovely scene. Like. I don't know if I've mentioned this during this playthrough, but I love hugs in video games, especially 2D hugs, because someone had to draw that, like, specifically. And it, it just kind of adds to the value of it to me. Here we are, that famous dungeon crossing. So, which dungeon is first? I think that's up to us. There are two temples that we have to complete first in any order. The Sonaji's temple. Uh, uh, Sona Sonais? I guess Sonais. Or it, it, is it like pronounced like a J because there's an I in front of it? I don't know. These things are weird. I'll just say Sonaji's. The Sanandji's Temple in the West, and the Zirvatar Temple in the East. Once we've completed both, we can enter the Grand Kriskaya to the north. Oh dear, that's a lot of dungeons. Well, we don't have to do them all at once. Wee, oui, but I'd like to finish at, at least one of them today. Sounds reasonable. Alright, what about you, Leah? Are you ready? Are you ready to dive right into dun dungeon crawling? If you like, we can take a stroll through the jungle first, punching some more parrot. Well, yeah, we could do that. We'll leave it up to you, Leah. But of course, no entering a dungeon without us. No, of course not. Okay, so yes, we we need two shades for this one as you can notice by the two different symbols. And um, I'll leave it up to the chat to decide. Are we going left or right first? I see to be two active people in chat right now, so if it's a tie, I will make a selection. Right, because chat is always right, okay. Tyrion, what do you think? Shall we go to the left? Or shall we go to the right? Give me another like. Let's see. Another like 20 seconds to answer. The left or right? Okay. 
Oh, no response. I guess we're going right. Well, well, you certainly matched the description. Hi. Are you not the seeker who solved the problem with the shad? That's me. Well, so my calculations were indeed correct, as always. Anyway, your help has been very much appreciated. My doctor is... Um, uh, my doctor. My name is Dr. Lou Carisha. Lou, Lou Carisha. Okay, sure. Leah. Of course, the shot are a tad off in their thesis that the power plant is the root cause for this strange infestation. I would know. It's my obligation to make sure of it. There is no leakage, no parameters off the expected spectrum. From the track's perspective, the plant might as well not be there. Obviously, something else must be causing this. I'm not sure what exactly, but I will continue to investigate. Well, I'm sure you're here to enter the temple, so I won't distract you any further. Good luck, and if there is anything you'd like to know, feel free to drop by to drop by in my office. It's, that, it's in that building to the left. Until then, Seeker. Bye! I guess this is the power plant. It's not exactly as inconspicuous as they would make you as they would have you believe. Yeah, we don't have access to this. No surprises there. Wait. Does it like attach directly to the temple? That seems like a terrible idea. The good seeker, what can I do for you? I... Ah yes, the power plant. It was built as pre at pretty much the same time as the city. We made sure not to interfere with the track at all. To put it simply, the plant only absorbs energy that is naturally emitted by the temple. Simple and clean energy. Quite brilliant, if I do say so my myself. Hmm, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, everything's in order here. We're just gonna go ahead and go into the into the uh, dungeon. Here we are, the Zervatar dungeon. Such a gloomy atmosphere. Well, we're at the border of the infested jungle. All right, and the infestation comes from the power plant here. Oh, that's what the Shad believe anyway. I think we're all well prepared now. Ready to start the race of the Zeratar Temple? Let's go. Okie dokie. Everybody get ready. Dungeon race! Good luck, everyone. You don't have to wish me luck. Just run slow and I'll be happy. I won't give you that luxury. Okay, well that's new. And actually, now that I think about it, this is um, this is the one that uh, we really needed because the whole point of these things, uh, this is the wave element right here. So if you throw the wave element at one of these things. That's what takes you over there. So I guess what we're getting in this dungeon... The hook shot, pretty much. And let's uh, do this. Oh. Um... Right, so... Oh! I see. 
gotta do this. There we go. Time for some battle. Whoa, geez. Okay. Aha. That's how you break these guys. That's also how you avoid that otherwise unmissable attack. Or unavoidable, I guess. Alright, let's see what we got here. shot to make. There we go. Oh. I gotta kind of angle it like this. Ah. And there we go. Uh, how do I get that? Probably from the other way. So you don't want to say you were right, but that's exactly what you're going to say. Okay. Well, that was interesting. So I guess the moral here is that uh, these pads here are going to absorb any uh, any of these energy balls that uh, come across them. Hmm. All right, that's not what I wanted to do. So here is another mechanic that we've just encountered. So when a wave ball goes to, uh, hits a wall, it will kind of angle against that wall. So now we gotta use that to make these shots so we can get through. This button. And we have a quick way back if we need to. Bonjour, so I was wondering, is this temple the wave or shock dungeon? Um, it's the shock dungeon so you get wave. It's weird. Game is weird. No, I think it's shock. I mean, there is electricity all over the place. Enemies that shoot lightning bolts and all that. I think it's wave because you use the wave element, element no? These weird balls uh, phasing through and through the walls are wave, right? I think so, yes. And you always get the element opposite to the dungeon's theme. Like getting heat in the temple mine, which is all cold and frozen. I wouldn't call the fire temple the cold dungeon because you get cold. What? I thought fire was the cold dungeon. The place is literally filled with ovens and heated coals. How can you call it the cold temple? I get the cold element and I punch stuff to make it cold in the cold dungeon. Makes perfect sense to me. Gosh, whatever. Labels. Let's just keep racing.
Oh, them some big beefy arms for big measure. Trogdor, the Florinator. Wasn't too much of a problem, though. Get up there. Um, oh, any element is fine. Oh, and that stays up. All right. What are you looking for from me here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was being dumb. Fine. Fine. Perfectly fine. Game, Leah. There we go. And then I want to do this. Perfect. Uh, so, why for these? No. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. But I'm not really sure how it's supposed to work. Oh, unless you want me to just... Eh? Oh. There, and that will open that up. Try using fire. Not sure what you want from me here, game. But I feel like I need to start with this.
Oh. Okay. Ah, I was just herpa derping there. Sorry about that, guys. What's up here? Oh, what in the fresh hell is this? And some combat here. Well, that was kind of cool. You come on down here, please. All right. Yeah, that takes us back here. What the? Are you kidding me? I shot that in just a way that it hit this? Oh my goodness. Fortunately, this, the puzzle's already solved, so I don't have to do it again. I just have to go back around here. There's probably going to be some enemies here, but I don't have to fight them if there are, and there aren't, so... there is what happened is I hit this right here this little corner and so the energy ball hit this pass through here and then hit that and yes I'm losing race time gotta hurry gotta hurry run run fast Back to entrance. Okay, so we got a key. I'm gonna gotta use the key. Or not. Fortunately, we're a little bit equipped to, to fight these little, uh, these little kitties. Okay, let's see. There. I can open this up, which opens up this half of the puzzle. Uh, I'll come back and uh, and do this puzzle once we have both halves open, though. quick. Yeah, I'm curious about this thing's name. Power plant. <laughs> of course. Oh, flowers as enemies? Whoever came up with that idea, that's a dumb name. 
Why did I say dumb name? Power Plant is an amazing name. There we go. You even lift, Mammal? Alright, um... This way. Okay, here's another thing. So these what these blocks are affected by uh, the warp things. Okay. So you this then, except slightly better. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, does it matter which one? There we go. Um, hmm. wasn't quite it. There we go. And now we're going to push this over here. You need a bit, a bit more of an angle here. There we go. And we can bring this, come on, over to here, push this, and we're on our way. to avoid that, but uh, it didn't work out. Ow. These things are not very smart. There's still one here, which concerns me. Okay. I hit that. Now the physics of these things is kind of weird. You kind of almost have to think reverse ways of how you think it will work. do it, except I still have to actually go through the correct path. Okay, so that gives me access to here. Can't go over there yet. There's so many treasures, I want them. What's this? Oh. Uh, Alright. 
just gotta do that. Yeah, there is the other guy. Oh, and he looked nasty. Oh, gee. And he also gets defensive. has to be a charged shot to actually send off that wave ball. Alright, so we have a key. Where do we need to bring that key? It wasn't here. Ah, here we go. Ah. Uh, okay. to go this way. Oops. That went off into nowhere. That wasn't low enough. Oh, come on. Go a little lower. Okay, I can't do that. Or apparently can't do that. Oh! There we go. Take the other angle. You big dummy. Um... Oh, okay. No, not that way. Yeah, it would be interesting if they implement, like, actually implemented playable versions of the other classes. Um, and also, you know, thinking about how this dungeon works for other classes to begin with. It's kind of an interesting thought experiment. I hadn't really considered that. Um, okay, do I want to go up or down? I want to go down. Wait, how, would, how would I go down? I don't think I can. Okay, up it is. Okay, and now I can go down. There we go. And now one last jump. Oh, remember to press the button. I wonder if there are any prizes. I'm not going to worry about that. I've already lost a fair amount of time. Oh, another one of these jerks. Can't seem to actually hit him either. Like, I, I need to use the wave element to, to hit this guy. Ah, 
Ow. There we go. Things I did think a, a lot about dual beam design. Well, it's good to have a creative mind. Okay, now we have both sides of this. Ugh, those large wave balls. How do they even work? They make my brain hurt. Yeah, but they are they are strange, but they do make sense if you watch them closely. Wait, don't tell me anymore. I'll figure it out myself. By the way, did you already meet the, uh, I think, third enemy type? I mean, the floaty fog things? Right, those weird ghosts. Why can't I just punch them? They're ghosts, you can't simply punch ghosts. Well, that is until we finally get the element of this temple, I suppose. Oh, that's right. I can't wait for that moment. <laughs> Okay, this might take some figuring here. I think we'll guess one of them. Sure did. I lit up again. So do we have to get all of them set up? Oh, that's not gonna work. We probably have to use this one. Okay, now we have to do left side to left side, right side to right side. Okay, so that hits that. Just gonna go straight down. If I do this. Okay, so that works. So then we need to do that. same time. I messed my shot though. It definitely seems like this one takes more time. There we go. Yeah, so which one do we have set up? Is it this one? Absolutely not, it's that one. Okay, 
I think this is correctly set up. It's gonna take longer for the left one to go. There we go. Okay. That's the button. Interesting. So here's something that we can do. What happens if we hit two of these at the same time, on the same shot? They stack up. So then, we can just take this one. And hold down the button. got that. And now we have access to this block. We press this. Alright, so now we have to find a way to angle this correctly, which I think this will do. And we can pull multiple blocks this way. Now we can pull this out. And place this on its all destination pedestal. And there we go. Time for some combat. Oh, time for a lot of combat. Oh my goodness. One thing to watch out about with these uh, with these flowers is that the takeoff and landing will both hurt you. Okay, what what are these guys called? They keep acting like robots. Okay. I gonna say they keep acting like chickens. That's kind of weird. There we go. On to the next encounter. take care of the parrot first if uh if i can uh, it is the one that is most likely to be inaccessible to fight uh, Oh, 
Ooh. It got its attack off, and yet I still managed to evade it. That was lucky. There. Mortal Kombat, indeed. Oh, now we have to deal with two of these friggin' things. What are you called? Ecto Vault. Yeah, that seems appropriate. It is really hard to deal with you guys when there are two of you. want to lose now. There we go. Of course I gotta level up. Why wouldn't I have after all of that? And here's our goal. Wave mode activated. And we immediately start with 43 circuit points. So yeah, now we can just immediately do this. Slightly, uh, slightly out of order, but that's fine. Um, let's see. Okay, so... Okay, that's straight up on a different level. Oh, okay. There. We're coming back to this puzzle. Possibly. Yeah, that's a way back. Not sure if that was the intended solution, but that's what I came up with. Okay, so that brings us back here. I'm not really sure what this gives us. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm starting to get an idea of what I need to do. Okay. So now I'm here. Now I do want to do this. Can't shoot fast enough for that. Oh, what if I do... that. There we go. Okay, so that definitely activated this puzzle. So what are we looking at here? Okay. Just kind of have to follow this ball around. What? Uh, I misaimed and hit and hit uh, hit a warp pad instead. Oh, why are people DMing me now? over there, do that. This again? Okay. Aiming in this game is a lot easier with the mouse. But uh, I, I don't want to have to resort to using the mouse. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this.
really. There we go. Well, do we got this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, right, we didn't spend any... We, we have all these circuit points and didn't spend any of them. And then I died. So I guess that's my fault. Yeah, I keep forgetting that pressing the, uh, the directional buttons actually will uh, change to other circuit boards. Ah, uh, guard art. I never use those. Dash arts I use sometimes. Where is our melee art? Should be at the end of one of these somewhere. There it is. Melee arc gets shafted for this one. Now we're going to go ahead and get the one that we can have. Absorbing HP. I'm down for that. Uh, more absorbing HP. Is good. You got some HP regenerator here. Slows down elemental overload, absolutely. Uh, 
Um, level three dash art. That sounds like fun. It needs two. There we go. Go ahead and spend on these other ones too. Slowing down the, el the elemental overload is a good thing. branch where everything is expensive as fuck. Because it applies to all four branches, you see. Defense would be nice. That's doing a lot more damage. But I think you do have to actually uh, hit the uh, warp things with a uh, uh, fully charged shot. Yeah, as you can see, small shot does nothing. Uh, yes, the, the elemental buffs are only active if that element is on. Ooh. This guy looks exciting. Plasma Phantom. Interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Yeah, that didn't really do a whole lot. I ran out of dashes. Okay, so I can just punch this guy. Okay, that might have been part of what hurt so much, honestly. What you got this time? Same shape. I was expecting something different. Whoa. 
Okay. So now you're you're being a little hyper. That's fine. And now I gotta make lines again. Ah. Oops. That's a lot of damage. Ow. That is a lot of damage. Okay, next phase. It's almost a star. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, you, you're healing. Okay. Yeah, that big bolt there at the end. Uh, heal them for a fair amount. Just don't. How about don't just stand there and tank everything, Leah? There we go. Okay. Dungeon clear. Who wins this race? Hey, we did it. Damn it. Just a second. Hey. Too bad. I thought I had a pretty good run this time. The boss at the end was pretty neat. Darn it. Last one again. And I thought you'd do well since you figured out the puzzle so quickly. Well, I had a pretty hard time with the last section. Too many of those enemies. Yeah, that was quite something, wasn't it? My oh, the space bird is waiting. A little spark can grant life to any creature of this world. And a most furious thunder will humble those creatures in awe. Among the fiercest of lightning, you stayed persistent. Uh, have a good night, Terry, and thanks for dropping by. With calm and calculated waves, you phased through electric discord. You, the traveler, the envoy of change. You have proven yourself worthy. Take the shade, one of a pair, to reach the grand tree. Of a bolt shade. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Congratulations, Seeker. You collected the purple bolt shade, one of the two uh, one of the two shades required to enter the Grand Crescaio. Take this reward for your accomplishments. Good luck and stay vigilant. And done. One dungeon completed, two to go. Awesome. This place here is pretty nice, don't you think? I'd like to have a small look around before we continue. Sure. 
I would like, uh, though I have to admit that the, that huge electric stream up there makes me slightly nervous. It all started when Diorbus, the, the ethereal god of creation, was born into the emptiness of the void. After pondering for her solitude, uh, in, after pondering for eons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to gave birth to the gods of shape. And I can't read tonight. Holy crap! I've I've done such a good job until now. It is definitely time for a break, but uh, I'll come after reading these. Quinn is one of these gods. Born a Twintagoni, she is the god of the Pentagon and the creator of storms and lightning. So that means that she is the uh, the, pat the patron of the Pentagon. Quinn is the creator of storms and lightning. Her strong winds keep our world in constant motion. Her fierce thunderstorms are awe-inspiring, sparking curiosity within us. Finally, her little sparks are, are also give life to every creature of this world. Goni, the creator of ever-flowing waters and twin brother of Quinn, was busy filling our planet with oceans and lakes. The water overflowing from the lakes was slowly moving down the hills into the ocean. However, the water in the oceans was almost motionless. As Quinn watched those boring, calm waters, she had an idea. She created light winds flying over the ocean, creating an abundance of dancing waves on its surface. At first, Goni did not like this change, as he preferred his waters calm and quiet. But as he saw creatures playing with the waves and using the winds to travel across the oceans, he reluctantly agreed to keep it. This made Quinn very enthusiastic, and so she decided to create stronger and stronger winds, making the waves go higher and higher. This led to the most fearsome storms and tidal waves, flooding vast amounts of land. Goni quickly interfered. Quinn understood that she made a terrible mistake. To make it up to her twin brother, she created many creatures to live deep within the waters. When Diaro and Diorbis witnessed the, advances, the advancements of our kind, they decided to send the message of the sky wrapped in an envelope of solid rock and ice. As he sent out the envelope, Diaro was ever so careful, only giving it the slightest nudge. After all, he didn't want his creation, the earth and mountains, to be damaged when the message arrived. When watched the envelope fly towards us ever so slowly, she watched and watched, growing more and more impatient. She knew that Diaro wanted to be careful, but if this, uh, if this continued, the message would never arrive in time. Quinn then remembered how our kind could withstand the most powerful thunderstorms and fierce hurricanes. She was confident that we could receive a fast appro approaching message just as well. Without hesitation, Quinn reached back and gave the envelope a massive blow, launching it toward us at high speed. It is thanks to, thanks to her confidence in our resilience that our kind received the message of the sky in time. Um, yeah, that, uh, that's some Higurger Higurger Extraordinaire up there. Wouldn't want to get caught up in that. I could have a view, too. Uh, the thunder is actually above us. Like, if, if you look at this construction here, there are these two spires to the left and right of the statue. And so that's actually kind of... The center of that is directly above the statue. There's no way to actually poke that, even if we wanted to, which, you know, don't do that. Anyway... So with that, we have arrived at the break. So it is t that time of the stream where we get to take a stretch, go to the bathroom, get a drink, whatever you need to do. And at about 10 to 15 minutes from now, we shall reconvene and take on the um, the dungeon that I had trouble pronouncing previously. 
though. I will see you in a bit.